Okay, welcome back to the final session of the Terminal Tomorrow Conference. Um, thank you very much to everyone uh, for returning for this last session. I'll now hand you over to our chair, who is Patrick Coulson. Thank you. Okay, well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the late afternoon session. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the first and the second day of the conference so far. It's my great pleasure and honor uh, to be the moderator and the chairman uh, for the remainder of the day. Uh, my name is Patrick Coulson. I'm the uh, managing director of Insights Global. Uh, Insights Global is a market research company focused on liquid bulk markets. Uh, it's our mission to uh, bring transparency in these markets uh, by supporting market players to make intelligent decisions uh, through our data analytics uh, consultancy services and uh, our training and uh, well our online platform tankterminals.com is specifically uh, uh, meant for the terminal business so please check it out at uh, tankterminals.com okay well back to the conference and uh, well i must admit um, they left the best for last so we are well very happy to have such a great great speakers lined up for you uh, uh, for the rest of uh, this afternoon and uh, well the program includes uh, three presentations and one panel session so first of all a presentation on the application of robotics in the terminal sector uh, by uh, Gran uh, Norgroom from Regen Robotics um, second presentation on fuel oil pricing by Eugene Lindel from JBC Energy and a third presentation on the global crude oil inventories by Alex Booth from Kepler. Uh, at the end, there will be a, a panel session uh, where the audience, so, so you guys, um, can ask questions to uh, Eugene and uh, Alex. Um, yeah, and also during the presentation, there will be some uh, poll questions that we kindly ask you uh, to answer. Uh, the results will be visible and, uh, well, it's, uh, Sort of fun, right? To get some uh, some feedback and and some research results from that. Okay, well, uh, let's start with the first presentation on robotics by Gran Nogru. Um, let me first introduce you. Um, so Gran is a project manager from Regen Robotics. Um, it, this company is the first and only Zone Zero X certified remote controlled no man entry robotic tank cleaning company in the UK and Ireland. Um, in response to market demand for safety and efficiency in tank cleaning, Regen Robotics has developed award-winning robotic cleaning technology that can easily maneuver into confined spaces. A grand will discuss how the company has developed a game-changing solution to service oil tanks, which is unparalleled in terms of safety and delivery. Uh, when it comes to high hazard safety, nothing should be left to chance, and this is the cornerstone of their service model. Although uh, safety regulations and industry st standards are stringent, accidents can occur due to human error and the failure uh, of safety devices. Exposure to hazardous petrochemicals, heat stress, lack of oxygen, slips and falls, fires and explosions are the main risks faced by personnel who manually clean oil tanks. Regen Robotics has invested over 3 million in creating three purpose-built X-Zone Zero rated robots and auxiliary equipment with the power to clean the latest tanks with no hassle, including heavy fuel oil, crude and sludge. Regardless of the nature of the vessels, vertical, horizontal, over the ground or underground, Regen Robotics has a solution for non-man entry tank cleaning. So please, um, well, have a, a good, um, um, pay good attention to uh, the presentation. I give the floor to uh, Gran. Thank you. Thank you very much, Patrick. Thank you. Um, so good afternoon, everyone, um, or indeed good morning or good evening, depending on where in the world you're tuning in from today. Um, thank you very much to Tank Storage and Stock Expo for inviting us to speak along today. Um, so a little bit about Regen Robotics. So Regen Robotics um, was created really to offer a safer approach to tank cleaning. 
um, our managing director um, had extensive experience and um, industry knowledge in this area. And after um, a few years of initial research and development, um, our company was born in 2019. So since inception, uh, we've continually been investing in our company through our uh, development of our people and also our robotic tank cleaning equipment. Um, we are the first Zone Zero EX certified uh, remote control, 100% no man entry robotic tank cleaning company um, in the UK and Europe. And we do place a high premium uh, on workplace safety with our spoke equipment. Um, it just means our workers are never exposed to the dangers posed uh, by operations carried out in hazardous confined space environments. As many of us are aware, uh, hazardous petrochemicals, heat stress and falls are the main risk fa risks faced by workers um, who manually clean oil tanks. Um, Regen Robotics completely removes that risk uh, to personnel uh, and their health and safety associated with working in confined spaces. And I suppose really based on our, our knowledge and understanding of the industry, uh, our, research, our research and development team and partners uh, have, have designed bespoke equipment uh, to clean tanks across Europe in the oil, petrochemical and pharmaceutical sector. Uh, we're also very proud to have completed the first ever 100% no man entry tank clean uh, with Shell Worldwide in 2019 at their Haven terminal in the UK. So just moving into our presentation, as you'll see on the screen, our vision. So. Our vision is to become the most efficient, safe and reliable tank cleaning service provider uh, to the petrochemical industry, distinguishing ourselves from our competitors through our excellent health and safety solutions and to eliminate confined space entry. Uh, what it says in the tin, we don't just aim to meet health and safety standards, we want to create new standards across the industry. Um, I'm just going to show you a short video um, which highlights a little bit more um, about how we operate when we roll up on site. So you'll see just in the video going under one of the roof drains um, on the CCTV footage there of a floating roof tank. And again, everything is recorded on CCTV. Okay, so moving back to our presentation. An industry first. Um, what makes us different? Um, what makes us different is our fully contained system, um, which you've seen in the video there, um, is self-sufficient. So it includes our jet vac tanker, our control room, um, which is lifted off by our own uh, high-up crane, our jetting and robotics, meaning companies don't need to hire or buy additional equipment um, whenever we arrive on site. Um, our research and development uh, facilities available in-house ensure that we're continuing to innovate and problem solve issues that we may face um, out on site on more complicated tank cleans. Uh, we're, more, we're always 100% no man entry, and this is something we pride ourselves on. Health and safety is our main focus, um, and we are setting new standards with clients across the industry. And we're actually finding now that um, clients are asking for no man entry options um, on their tender list, uh, as opposed to confined space entry only. Um, so clients are starting to see the value of robotics as well and, and the health and safety aspects of it. Our ATEX cameras um, allow us to produce intelligent reporting, um, which is then for all clients and allows them to inspect the tank after our cleans. And all footage is then provided um, on a USB at the end of each tank clean to the client. And actually in a recent survey that was carried out by Tank Storage Magazine, uh, we found that 80% or 86 percent sorry of respondents surveyed uh, would like to see robotic tank cleaning um, in their terminal so on to our people like many companies out there our people is our main asset and um, we have a fantastic team uh, including highly skilled robotic operators we've site supervisors project managers health and safety personnel business development and marketing and also research and development staff um, and all led by our managing director and our board of directors 
we're continually investing in our employees and ensure they're all trained to the highest of standard and um, so they know everything there is to know about our system but also whenever they roll up on site and um, that they're knowledgeable in every aspect uh, prior to each time clean again we carry out a number of toolbox talks and um, with our staff uh, to ensure they're educated on every aspect and we also hold meetings with staff prior to arriving on new sites uh, to ensure they're informed of all site specific and company policies relating to that individual client as the company has continued to grow so has our team um, and our people are keen to excel within the company. Uh, we, we truly value the resources that we have available in-house. Certification, so not only do we invest in our people, uh, but we invest heavily in our company and hold the following ISO certifications. Uh, 45001 for Occupational Health and Safety, 9001 for Quality Management Systems, and 14001 for Environmental Management. So why use robotic tank cleaning? Well. For us, the main point, it's safer. Um, we've removed the need for confined space entry, um, meaning there's zero risk to life when using our robotic cleaning system. Uh, at no time is anyone in, are required to enter the tank. Um, also, your man hours are reduced, leading to overall reductions in both accidents and health and safety incidents. Our robotic systems are setting new safety standards across the oil industry um, and eliminating the risk of injury or death in confined spaces. And in March 2020, we lifted the Safety Technology Award uh, at the Global Tank Storage Boards in Rotterdam in recognition of our innovative tank cleaning technology. It's also more efficient. So cleaning time per tank is reduced by a staggering 45% on average, but can actually be increased further um, depending on the tank and the depth of sludge and things like that. Um, but on average, we're finding it's 45%. Um, our self-contained system, again, we've no need to buy anything extra um, or hire anything in for, for clients. Um, it includes our vacuum, our jet and craneage and robotics. There's also less mechanical isolation and spading of tanks is not required. And um, so again, more efficiency and again, less paperwork. No one wants too much paperwork. Um, so less paperwork and permits required for our system. It's also more intelligent. So we've ATEX lighting um, on our robots and ATEX cameras uh, for in-depth no man entry inspections. And um, so this also allows the, um, the, the, the control room, we'll, we'll see it all on screen, but it allows the client to come in at the end um, of every tank clean and do an inspection at the end and um, to see that everything is in order. And um, all CCTV, CCTV footage is then passed on for every tank clean to the client. And our trucks um, are all fitted with an onboard telemetry system, which we'll, we'll look at further in a second. So the type of tanks that we clean, we have fixed roof, floating roof, heavy fuel oil, cone floor, and anything else, basically. Um, obviously, that's that's a, a, a brief um, highlight of some of the tanks we clean. Um, and then we're faced with different internal furniture and um, areas that we need to, to look at and drawings for each tank. Each tank is usually different. So our equipment. So you'll see there the robot um, with two two heads there in the photographs. And um, so zone zero, we excavated robotic equipment, all remotely controlled from an air conditioned control room, um, which is then taken off via our crane. Um, we have an ADR spec jet bag tanker with a 9,000 liter capacity. And we got, we've also 4,800 cubic meters per hour vacuum and 3,500 um, pound per square uh, hour vacuum, or jetting, sorry. Um, we've also got zone zero CCTV recording um, on every completed project. And our robot is hydraulically operated, fitting through a standard 600 mil man way. Um, the ramps are also hydraulically operated as well and fixed externally by our operator. That's just a sample of inside one of the tank cleans with our ATEX uh, cameras. You can see our C CR360 washing head there and um, cleaning down some of the internal tank furniture. Then we also have a smaller robot then that's used mainly for um, underground tanks and petrol forecourts and things, um, which fits through a 450 millimeter uh, in diameter manway. Um, again, it's lowered into the tank using a winch and high pressure and suction devices connected. And um, so it's it's available for, for smaller tanks or smaller entries. So our onboard telemetry system, 
Um, on the left, you'll see the glue, the water that we have available in the truck at the time. And on the right, then the brown is the sludge removed from the tank. So it just means that we have real time information um, on all information from the tank. Uh, it just means that our operators are also able to um, determine when the tanker is full of sludge and what water is left. It lets the client then know the waste generation, the hours worked per day and the water consumption on each project. The jet and pressures are recorded for the duration of the tank clean also. Then our nice control room. So our operator works in the control room driving the robot. Um, again, an ergonomic design uh, to make sure that the, the operator is comfortable um, when they're sitting doing the, the tank clean. Um, X-ray monitors on CCTV recording all takes place from the control room. And we've also an earth point isolation. So we really are the complete solution, really. Um, it's a two-man operation uh, with the USB recording submitted on the completion of the tank clean. Um, and zero man entry into the confined space. High pressure, low volume, means reduced waste and is more efficient. Um, also with our system operating with only two people, um, in such times as we're living in at present, we're also able to provide a COVID compliant tank clean. Um, our staff arrive in separate vehicles um, and are working at different areas, meaning there's no, no need for social distancing. And thankfully our robot doesn't need to wear mask or face covering. So expansion and innovations, uh, as mentioned, we're continuously innovating and looking to the future of tank cleaning with our equipment. Um, whilst we have three robots on the go, we've actually a third system, full system, uh, ready and due, or getting built at present and due for delivery uh, this year. Um, we also have our uh, experience developing across the industry. We've also invested in design of various suction and washing heads in order to clean more complicated tanks with internal furniture and also to wash higher up the tank walls uh, and floating roofs. We've also been able to schedule our two systems uh, to work on one side at one time to complete larger tank cleans. Uh, this is really just in order to minimize downtime of the tank and create a faster turnaround for the customer on request. Uh, we've also invested in better ATEX lighting and cameras uh, as time has went on uh, for more in-depth remote inspection, eliminating the need again for clients to enter the tank after the tank clean has been completed. So what are the key benefits? Number one, and always will be, is health and safety, eliminating the risk to human life from entering a confined space. Um, it's more efficient, so robotic tank cleaning can reduce the cleaning time by 45% on average. It's cost effective, so less downtime equals more productivity for the client. And then compliance, we're exceeding requirements of current legislation. So recent awards, we were delighted to receive the Tank Storage Association Safety Technology Award in 2020. And we were also highly commended at the Hazard X Awards in 2020 also um, for explosion proof robotic tank cleaning technology. So a little bit about some of our case studies. Um, which also can be found on our website. I know we're, we're probably a little bit short of time here, but um, basically our, our first tank clean at Shell was two Jet A1 fuel storage tanks um, with eight, eight tonne of sludge. Um, so this was 45% reduced downtime off the tank. Um, and also the, the days it took was eight days to complete two tanks. Uh, so that was six days of sludge removal um, and the other days then for, for removal of washings and mobilisation and demobilisation. It was only two staff members on site. And um, so the overall feedback um, was absolutely fantastic from, from the client. Um, again, production time, it just meant we were, we were a lot more effective and faster. There was no hours of confined space entry. There was no need for a confined space rescue crew on site. Um, another tank that we have completed then was in Mitchellstown. It was a 55 meter heavy fuel oil tank um, and it received 54% reduced downtime on the tank. Um, and this was actually 65 tonne of sludge waste removed. Um, again, 22 days to complete the tank clean. 15 days of that was sludge removal with again, two staff members on site. Um, feedback again from the client has been fantastic. And again, zero hours confined space entry um, and no need for a, a rescue confined space rescue crew. So some of our recent projects, again, which can be found on our website um, and more case studies available. So what are we? We're safer, we're cleaner, we're more efficient. Um, and I am conscious of, of timing. So I know that um, there'll probably be a few questions to come in. So um, please feel free to take a little screenshot um, 
of our contact details. There's our managing director, Fintan Duffy's details there, uh, myself, Grania Mulgrew, and also we have our Amy, uh, Amy McKeown, marketing and business development executive um, details as well. So please feel free to um, drop us an email, uh, give us a call, and we'd be more than happy to hear from you, even if it's in regards to a specific tank um, or you have a query itself. So thank you very much. Um, I am going to pass you back to Patrick. Okay, well, thank you very much for your uh, uh, 